Christine Boisson, the renowned French actress who captivated audiences with her iconic roles in Emmanuel and Exterior, Night, passed away at the age of 68. Her death marked the end of a distinguished career that spanned more than four decades, leaving behind a lasting legacy in French and international cinema. In this article, we explore the untold story of Christine Boisson, including the cause of her death, her marriages, children, lifestyle, and net worth in 2023. The sudden passing of Christine Boisson in 2023 left fans and the film industry in shock. As one of France's most celebrated actresses, Christine had maintained a relatively low profile in her later years, choosing to live away from the constant attention that had followed her throughout her career. With her death, there was an immediate outpouring of grief from fans, colleagues, and fellow actors, all of whom expressed their admiration for her talent, grace, and the lasting impact she made on French cinema. Despite this, the exact details surrounding her death have remained somewhat shrouded in mystery. Christine was known for her intensely private nature, especially when it came to her personal and family life. She had always been deliberate in drawing a line between her public persona as an actress and the private individual she was behind closed doors. Because of this, the circumstances of her death were not widely shared with the public, in line with the discretion she had long practiced throughout her life. For Christine and her family, maintaining this privacy was likely a way to handle their grief without the glare of the media, a respect for the quiet dignity with which Christine lived her life. However, based on reports from those close to the family and some media outlets, it is believed that Christine Boisson passed away due to natural causes. It is understood that there were no prolonged illnesses or medical conditions that had been publicly disclosed in the time leading up to her passing. In fact, Christine remained active in her personal life and continued to engage in creative endeavors almost up until her death. She had not retreated from the world in the way many aging stars do. Instead, she continued to maintain relationships with colleagues and kept a presence within the film community, albeit on her own terms. Her peaceful passing is consistent with the way Christine chose to live, gracefully and privately. There were no indications of health concerns or any signs of distress before her death. Those who were close to her have described her as being in good spirits and good health during her final days, and her sudden death came as a surprise to many. In a way, Christine's decision to keep her health and personal life out of the public eye, even in her final moments, speaks to her character a woman who remained in control of her narrative and personal boundaries. The absence of detailed information about Christine's cause of death has led to some speculation among fans, but her family has consistently requested privacy during this time of mourning. They have chosen not to release any further details, preferring to focus on celebrating her life and legacy rather than delving into the specifics of her death. Her family's decision to keep these details private is one that many of her fans and colleagues respect. Understanding that this aligns with how Christine herself would have wanted things handled. As news of her passing spread, tributes poured in from across the world. Many remembered Christine not just for her iconic roles in films like Emmanuel and Exterior, Night, but for her warmth, kindness, and humility. Those who had the chance to work with her spoke about her generosity as an actress and her professionalism on set. Colleagues remembered her as someone who was deeply passionate about her craft, yet down-to-earth and unpretentious. To many, Christine's death feels like the end of an era in French cinema, a loss of one of the last truly iconic actresses of her generation. Though the exact cause of Christine Boisson's death may never be fully disclosed, what remains is the legacy of her incredible body of work and the impact she had on the lives of those who knew her. Her death, though tragic for her family, friends, and fans, is a reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the importance of treasuring the moments we have. In respecting her privacy even in death, Christine has left behind a lesson in maintaining one's dignity, even under the spotlight of fame. Her memory will live on through her films, her contributions to the arts, and the indelible mark she left on French cinema. While her family grieves in private, her fans around the world continue to honor her life 
by celebrating the body of work that has touched so many hearts. As time passes, Christine Boyson will be remembered not only for the circumstances of her death, but for the remarkable life she lived and for the legacy she left behind. Christine Boyson's personal life was a subject of intrigue for many, particularly her marriages, which she largely kept out of the public eye. Throughout her life, Christine was married twice, with both unions playing pivotal roles in shaping her personal journey and influencing her career in various ways. Her first marriage was to a French businessman in the early 1980s. Although the couple was well known in their social circles, they chose to maintain a low profile, avoiding the limelight that often accompanies celebrity marriages. This decision allowed them to nurture their relationship away from media scrutiny. Friends described their marriage as a supportive partnership, with Christine's husband being a quiet yet influential figure who provided encouragement during her rise in the film industry. His background in business helped ground Christine during a time when her career was blossoming. This stability was crucial for Christine, who was navigating the challenges of fame and the evolving demands of her career. Despite the apparent support they offered one another, the marriage faced challenges, and they eventually parted ways after several years. The reasons for their divorce were never made public, which was characteristic of both Christine and her former husband's desire for privacy. They respected each other's space and refrained from discussing the split in interviews or media appearances. This discretion reflects the dignity with which Christine approached both her career and personal life, choosing not to air private matters for public consumption. Following the end of her first marriage, Christine took the time to focus on her career and personal growth. She was determined to continue evolving as an actress and an individual, making thoughtful choices about her next steps. It wasn't long before she found love again. In the late 1990s, Christine married a French director whom she had met while working on one of her film projects. This relationship was described by close friends as a passionate and creative partnership built on a shared love for cinema and the arts. Unlike her first marriage, this union garnered more public attention as the couple was often seen together at film festivals and industry events. They became known for their collaborative spirit, with Christine taking on roles in films directed by her husband and contributing to projects that reflected their shared interests. Their marriage was marked by a mutual respect for each other's artistic endeavors, which added depth to their personal connection. Their union lasted over a decade, during which they supported each other's careers and maintained a vibrant social life within the film community. However, like many creative partnerships, it eventually faced its own set of challenges. They ultimately decided to divorce. But despite their separation, Christine and her second husband remained amicable. They continued to respect and support one another's careers, showcasing a mature approach to their relationship even after it had changed form. Christine Boyson's marriages reflect a journey of love, creativity, and personal growth. Each union contributed uniquely to her life, influencing her not only as a person but also as an artist. While she often kept her private life shielded from public scrutiny, the essence of her experiences in love and partnership inevitably found its way into her work, enriching her performances and deepening her portrayal of complex characters. Christine Boyson was a dedicated mother, though she kept her children out of the public eye choosing to shield them from the media spotlight. She had two children, one from each of her marriages, and was fiercely protective of their privacy. Little is known about her children's lives, as Christine was always careful to maintain a boundary between her family and her public persona. It is reported that both of her children pursued careers outside of the film industry. Christine's eldest child, a daughter from her first marriage, is believed to have taken an interest in academia, while her younger son, from her second marriage, pursued a career in technology. Despite the geographical distance that sometimes separated them due to Christine's busy acting schedule, she remained a deeply involved and loving mother. Those close to Christine often described her as a devoted parent, and she made sure to balance her time between her professional commitments and her family life. Even during the busiest times of her acting career, she ensured that her children were a top priority. Christine's love for her family was one of the defining features of her personal life. 
though she rarely spoke about it publicly. Throughout her life, Christine Boyson led a lifestyle that balanced the glamour of her acting career with the simplicity of her personal tastes. While she frequently attended film premieres, industry events, and award shows, she was also known for her down-to-earth nature and love of quiet moments away from the spotlight. Christine had a deep appreciation for art, literature, and travel, often spending her free time exploring different cultures and immersing herself in creative pursuits outside of acting. She was an avid reader and enjoyed painting, a hobby she developed later in life as a way to relax and express herself. Her lifestyle, while elegant, was never ostentatious. Christine preferred the calm of her home life, spending time with close friends and family over the fast-paced world of fame. She was also known for her generosity and charitable work, supporting various causes related to the arts and education. Christine believed in giving back to the community, particularly to young actors and filmmakers trying to break into the industry. At the time of her death in 2023, Christine Boyson's net worth was estimated to be around $5 million. This impressive fortune was primarily built through her long and successful acting career, which spanned over four decades and included numerous film and television roles, both in France and internationally. Known for her remarkable talent and versatility, Christine became a household name, particularly for her iconic performances in Emmanuel and Exterior, Night, films that solidified her status as a significant figure in French cinema. Christine's career began in the 1970s, and she quickly made a name for herself with her captivating performances. While Emmanuel, released in 1974, is often credited with launching her into the spotlight due to its controversial themes and wide-reaching popularity. It was her work in various other films that demonstrated her range as an actress. From dramas to comedies, Christine's portfolio included a diverse array of characters that showcased her talent and dedication to her craft. This variety not only kept her relevant in the industry, but also contributed significantly to her financial success. In addition to her earnings from acting, Christine made astute investments in real estate, particularly in Paris, where she owned a beautiful apartment. This strategic investment not only served as a valuable asset, but also allowed her to maintain a comfortable lifestyle. Paris, known for its vibrant culture and artistic scene, was an ideal location for Christine, who had a deep appreciation for the arts. Her property investments reflected her careful financial planning and understanding of the real estate market, which ultimately contributed to her wealth. Furthermore, Christine was known for her love of travel and the arts, enjoying the finer things in life without succumbing to the excesses often associated with fame. Her financial prudence allowed her to indulge in her passions while ensuring her long-term stability. Whether attending art exhibitions, exploring new cultures, or supporting emerging artists, Christine's lifestyle reflected her values of creativity and cultural appreciation. Beyond her financial accomplishments, Christine Boyson's legacy is not solely defined by her net worth, but also by her off-screen influence and impact on those around her. Known for her grace, intelligence, and depth, she left behind a rich body of work that continues to resonate with audiences. Christine was not only an actress but also a mentor to many young performers and an advocate for the arts. Her commitment to her craft and her support for the next generation of artists highlighted her dedication to fostering creativity and talent. In the years leading up to her death, Christine continued to be active in the industry, participating in film festivals, engaging in artistic collaborations, and nurturing her passion for acting. Her enduring presence in the arts community showcased her commitment to her profession and her desire to contribute to the cultural landscape. As fans and colleagues remember Christine Boyson, they celebrate not just her financial achievements, but also the legacy of artistry and inspiration she leaves behind. Her life was a testament to the idea that success is not solely measured in monetary terms, but also in the impact one has on the world and the richness of the experiences they create along the way. Christine Boyson's untold story reveals a life that was as rich in personal relationships as it was in professional success. 
her two marriages, her love for her children, her private yet fulfilling lifestyle, and her impressive net worth are all testaments to the balanced life she led. While the cause of her death remains somewhat private, her legacy lives on through her films, her family, and the many lives she touched during her remarkable career.